G'day folks, it's Mish here. I'm out testing the Deus 2 metal detector in a completely empty reserve. I've never detected here before. I have no idea what I'll find today. So without any further ado, let's grab the gear and let's go hunting. Well, g'day there folks. I hope you're doing all right today. I'm having a nice quiet day today. Woke up a little bit on the tired side. I actually slept in if I'm uh, completely honest. So I completely miss low tide. So today I have opted for, and I won't show you too much. We are playing at home, but as you can kind of tell from that, one big old empty patch of land. Now I'm just trying to decide what mode I'm going to go in. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start Oh, do I start with what I know, which is park mode, or do I start with general? General has less things notched out, so maybe I should start with that. It is a different tone sound, so it's running in what it calls three tones, and it sounds a little bit like this. So, not a sort of tone I'm used to listening to. We'll give it a go. Um, if anything, I suppose I could change the tone type while still keeping it in general mode. All right, I'll get swinging. We'll see what we find first. Well, that was a funny start. I actually came across a signal. I was just getting ready to hit the camera button and then a friend pulled up on the road beside me and I've completely lost where that target is. I'll get back to it if I find it. I have got something else here and it is an 8182. Could just be junk, but it's still a target, so let's give it a whirl. Ooh. That ground's surprisingly easy to dig. It's very dry here at the moment. I've had lots of days of just blistering sun and not a whole lot of rain. I have no idea how deep I have to dig for these targets, because this is my first time on this new set of tones. So we'll try a couple of inch and see what that does. Well, it's not a bad little estimate. Oh, oh you... <laughs> All right, come on, have a giggle, guys. Anyone who's a regular here is going to be roaring with laughter at this point. That, my friends, is a sinker. <laughs> that has been there more than a while. Good grief, I cannot get away from these flipping things. All right, on to the next. Well, I have this awful feeling that I may have just scuffed whatever it is because this was a really dry and really difficult dig. Had to resort to the hand digger. But let's just sweep over, get our signal. This is what I got. It's a lot louder now, but it was a nonetheless rather punchy 90-91. Now I can see what appears to be a coin. Looks a little bigger than a two cent piece. I have no idea what a 1991 is going to be. Think about that. Ooh, oh, geez, why you got to scratch these, Mish? Oh my goodness. I oh, might not have done too much damage, thankfully. But we've got ourselves our first pre decimal, so that's a good start. That is a kangaroo half penny, and it is in the 1940s. I just can't quite make out the last digit. Okay, note to self dig a slightly bigger perimeter around any 90s target. Very nice. Well, I didn't film the start of this one because I heard a double beep. I saw it said 62, like that. Look what I yeah. That's pull tab territory. I won't film that one. Actually appears to be a coin on its side. So what I think this will be is a 10 cent piece. But again, we are learning. Let's have a look. Well, I, I rarely ever get coin balls like this. Let's give this a go. Oh, yep, no. <laughs> Need to work on that one, Mish. Sure enough, 10 cent piece. That was uh, interesting. Not quite what I thought it was going to be. Let's keep learning and digging. I'm about to show you what I got out of this hole, but I want to explain something before I pick it up. So I figured this one was a junky sounding tone and I've got another tone over here that sounds clean. I don't know how well you're going to hear this in the microphone, but I'll try and put you up to it. This first signal you'll notice sounds a little bit more jumpy and, and just 
not a smooth sound. Anyhow, have a listen. Yeah, it's sort of jittery and jumpy. Pitch varies a little bit. Now have a listen to the one I've got over here that I haven't dug yet, but I think is a clean target. Comparing. Yes. You get what I mean, guys? That one sounds shallower too, I must admit, but it's just nice and even, cut straight in and straight out. This one's a bit eh. Anyhow, what I got out of this one is something I've not quite gotten before, because I find zips all the time, but I very rarely find a zip that's still attached to the actual zipper. Goodness only knows what that was from, but uh, that's pretty amusing actually. Maybe off a wallet or something that looks long enough to be for like the little coin purse bit. I don't know. We'll chuck it in with the vines anyway. Yes, I will be filling that back in. But let's not waste your time and get straight to this one. This ground's so unpredictable. It's really hard in some spots and really soft in others. <sighs> This bit's pretty good. Probably dug a little bit deep. Or did I? That actually looks like it could be the target. I think it is. <laughs> Look at that lovely little coin impression there too. What have we here? Queen Elizabeth, not that you can really see her at the moment. But I guarantee you, with a little bit of polish, yep, that will definitely be a 20 cent piece. So hopefully you could hear the difference in that, guys. That's the sort of thing I'm listening for today. If it's too erratic like that, I may very well give it a miss, but I'm not gonna pass over a tone like that. Now, I know these finds aren't spectacular, but as I say, this is a learning journey, and I know a lot of you are learning with me, and I know there's not a whole lot of Aussie content out there with the dais either, so let's learn these tones together. Now, bear in mind I'm in general mode again. 75, 76. All right, just a modern coin. Yep, and it is another 20 cent piece. Now apparently, and I'm yet to do this testing of my own, but between the modes, tones and IDs can actually fluctuate a little bit. So this is a 76 on general, it might be a 73 on park, for example. I can't remember what it rang up on the last hunt, but uh, I'll pop it down on the screen here. So yeah, I've got to basically treat it like a, a ballpark range at this point, but taking into account what I said earlier about listening for those stable tones each time, that'll maximise my chance of getting coins anyway. And look, there might be something like a, a medallion or a token, well, probably not where I live, but still, you just never know what will come out when you dig those stable signals. Awesome. This was an 82, yeah, still an 82. And I found the target and I know what it is and it's junk now, but once upon a time that would have been the top of a, an old Zippo lighter I reckon. In really good nick too. wonder if the other half will be nearby, hopefully. But maybe someone just lost this bit. Tree. Lighter top. And this. Another clean signal. Hmm. 92, 93 maybe, I might dig very carefully around this one, I've just got that feeling we could have an old coin on our hands, just putting all those three things together, all right we're still at the base of that tree, we've dug the hole and we have the target, not quite sure what it is, it's certainly the right shape though, can you see that there, it's a bit wonky, what is it? Is it a coin? It's um, let me show you the side here. Very dome shaped. It doesn't look like a shot coin. It's the right thickness. I can't see a rim design though. So maybe it is simply just a, a piece of metal. I'll give it a clean. If there's any details, I'll tell you. Well, I almost didn't dig this one. The detector suggested it was quite a large and chunky target. 
thought, oh, not another can. I have dug a few bits of can slaw because I'm learning. If in doubt, dig it out. This was allowed 91 or so. It's now 96 because I've tipped it on its side. And this is pretty cool, I reckon, because what I've found is the handle of a cap gun. Furthermore, I wonder if I've just broken off another part of it. So we might keep having a dig. I did get another signal not too far away. It's worse for wear anyway. It's definitely rusting out, but oh, it's still got little starters on it. That's cool as. Hmm. All right, if I find any more, I will show you. But I'm really happy with that. Well, this was my initial plug on the right hand side here. And sure enough, there's still, God, there's even something. Yeah, okay, that was the other signal I originally had. And I reckon this might be the part that I've accidentally broken off the cap gun. So, kind of performing a bit of delicate surgery here and digging a second plug. And then probably a third one to find out what the other part is. One can only hope I'll get a relatively complete set. Yep, that's another part of it. Yep, that's the part that I've broken, I think. Hang on, let me, let me get it out. Oh, I reckon we're going to get a model name off that one. Ramrod. But look, yep, Ramrod. Oh, well, we'll see maybe the barrels over here. Well, that's cool. That's really cool, guys. Let's keep going. I still haven't gotten to the other target yet. There was still a signal with the pinpointer. Even now there's still a signal with the pinpointer, but looks like I found the trigger. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun little jigsaw puzzle when I get home. I think I'm out of luck for more cap gun bits, guys. That other signal was just a cap. I reckon that's gonna be Leeds Lemonade, going by the colors. Oh, with the number eight written on the top? I don't know. <laughs> But anyhow, maybe that was the, the young bloke or young girl's refreshment while they were playing with their cap gun. Sounds like a fun day out. <laughs> well, I'll be. I was back at the car to just have a little bit of a rest and I got this screaming 83 signal here. I thought, oh, look, I'll just check it out. And it just looks like a piece of junk, right? But then I'm like, hang on. I know what this is because I've dug one of these in the water before you might struggle to see it on camera but there are some faint lines across here which makes this a uh, stamp from a printing press which also means that this little bumpy bit on the side is writing of some sort it'll be backwards and unfortunately I can't quite make out what that is at the moment I will pop it up on the screen and I have this sneaking suspicion that I actually might have dug one earlier too, which I didn't show because I thought it was a trash find. So I might have to rummage through the bag and just make sure I don't have a second one. That's cool as. I reckon that's the number two. And then no idea what the rest is. I will certainly take that. Well, I'm just having a little rest in my car, guys. Pretty hard diggings. Now we've had found a few interesting things so far but I am getting a little bored with this location as expected the wide open area is well wide and open not a whole lot of targets going on in there there is a playground in the near vicinity so I might hit that up next have a little bit of fun there and then we might call it a day well it's not bad I've literally just gotten out of my car might see a corner of it there <laughs> 74 one little poke with the shovel and a flick scored another 20 cents nice if only they were all that easy hey <laughs> we might find more i am changing location as i mentioned and um hopefully where i'm going there'll be a couple more spendies so let's see how we go
made it to the playground folks, had a low tone here and you can probably hear it sounds different, I have changed it to the park mode 51 it reckons for this one I've found it we've got 5 cents <laughs> it's not much but it's my first one that I've dug with the dais so it's another tone learned um, actually while we're here so that's a 51 in park mode but I think I mentioned earlier in the video that different modes can have slight variances on tones so let's go back to general alright let's see what it sounds like now yeah 53 so there you go different modes different IDs but if we know the ballpark we can make an educated guess and that's good enough for me awesome well I had a deep playground target guys this was a roughly an 85 86 actually sounded really sketchy and I can't quite tell yet but going by the weight and the, the thickness of it I reckon I found two bucks Let's see if we can give it a clean up I'm not too worried about damaging this coin as long as I can still spend this coin yeah that's gonna be two bucks guys 1988 first year of issue for those I think yeah it was 84 for the $1 coin and 88 for the $2 coin so nice it's clearly been there a long time it was actually under a, a tree root as well so I'll take that um, actually before I dig that in fill that in you know what I mean let me just put it back down there about as deep as it was let's just have a listen because I want to hear how faint that was. Now my sensitivity is on the default, which, let's have a look at what that is, is 90, so it's still pretty high. This is just the 9 inch coil. And yeah, that was on the faint end of things. So not a signal I'd miss, but one that I'd go, hmm, there's a bit of digging involved here. All right, and that is about there, so what's that? six seven inch maybe that's reasonable depth I personally don't like to dig much deeper than that in a, a park environment anyway and I dare say some of the other modes would punch a lot deeper as well fantastic hmm. 51 52 I'm going to place a bit. I reckon that's a five cent piece. Just going by the last one we found. Yeah, there it is. Oh, awesome. I'll get there yet, guys. <laughs> well, this was my first case with the dais of a target almost going missing again. I got a 61. We'll see if it sounds that way. No, it sounds like a 64 now. Anywho, it's not round. So it will fluctuate a little bit. And it was in that hole. I dug, and then I couldn't really get a signal on that anymore. But my pinpointer picked it up. So clearly it was just that little bit too small for this particular program. And what I've got is just a little bit of costume jewellery those numbers maybe steel and I just broke it <laughs> but anyway it was a little pendant that says BFF best friends forever and hopefully they still are okay so in park mode a 96 is a pilot super color marker at least that's what this thing tells me yep there you go one marker do you think it'll still work I don't think that one's going to be restorable. Makes you wonder how things get where they do, doesn't it? I get the distinct feeling that uh, someone might have been through this park on an equinox or similar where they've notched out all the low tones and they've just gone for the goldies. Because there is absolutely no surface coin targets here, guys. And the only coins I'm typically finding here the good old five cent piece I reckon this is another one right here at this table it was certainly worth a look though but being a quiet country park these things just don't get refilled as quickly as a city park might 
And I actually don't mind because the flip side of that is I've been in this general vicinity for probably three hours now. I haven't seen anyone access this park at all. <laughs> so, you know, not a bad trade-off. All right, I think we're getting ready to kit up for the car, guys. Well, guys, this is potentially my last target for the day and I didn't even have to dig for it. Got a screaming signal here. 95, 96, and literally all I had to do was just scuff the top of the ground. Now it pops a coin. Had no idea what it was going to be, but I've since discovered that it's the humble two cent piece. Cool, I'll still take it. It's still two cents more than I had before, and that's not a bad way to finish. Guys, I've done about all I can do today and I'm getting out of here. It was good to try another mode with the dais, the general mode today. It was good to hear the three tone mode. I think I need to tweak that a little bit. I think I'd prefer probably four or five tones or maybe even a different setting altogether. But it's all about learning at the moment, guys. I'm gonna give everything a go in its default mode and then I'll tweak it after that. All right, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget that like button. You know the drill, guys. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on my next adventure. Cheers. Mm -hmm.